viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and all the news and details. There is snake and the north is pampering it with a piece of meat, while the south is everything there. Senator Sheo says, Senator Sheo Sani blasts the northern and southern regions of Nigeria over the way they are treating bandits. Though the issues of insecurity in Nigeria has been a talk of the day, many Nigerians are having sleepless nights because of crimes in the country. However, Senator Sheo Sani tweeted on his Twitter handle, and according to him, the every snake in the house and the knot is pampering it with a piece of meat, hoping it will go away. And why the South is a victim hit from the inner room to parlors, hoping it will go away. What he mean is that the northern part of Nigeria is full of bandits and headsmen that killed and kidnapped innocent citizens and the northerners are not doing anything about it. Instead, they are applauding them for committing crimes while the southerners are evicting them thinking that they have done their best, not knowing that they are still around the corner. Fulani headsmen and bandits are the major challenge Nigeria is facing and the government needs to do something before it escalates to war. Those on Nigerians reacted and they said the only way is to kill the snake and eradicate it so the people will live in peace. The recent crisis between Fulani headsmen and communities have opened Nigerians high and if the federal government fails to do something about it, something else may happen. There is snake in the house. The north is pampering it with a piece of meat, hoping it will go away. The south is evicting it from the inner room to the parlor, hoping it will go away. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take about the same issues of Fulanese that we are talking about today? The reality is that the Fulanese have eaten up the house house. They have eaten up all the house house. The real owners of the north. So it's now hard for them to chase them away. The Fulanis have already taken charge of the north. So sad the strangers who came into the house and land as pastoralists of cows have successfully subjugated the house race. And now what do they want to do? And now they want to extend their congress to the south. And thank God that the southerners are not accepting them. The southerners are not accepting them at all. The northern Helites imported the snakes to the southern Nigeria for a purpose, to destroy, to kill. And this explains why they always beat the drums of war whenever efforts are being made by the southerners to evict them. The reality is that no amount of rhetoric can change this fact. No amount. And it is just so unfortunate that the Southern leaders and Nigerian in general have not been asking questions. They have been keeping mute. The Southerners should have asked questions when foreign Fulanese were being imported to the South in the dark during the lockdown. They would have been so sensitive. And also the non fulani Nigerians should by now be present for removal of the ban on owning a gun place on all except Fulanese. May God help us. These Fulanese are the ones destroying our country. And the reality has been said. Shewu has said it all. The snake was brought in by some. And they then removed the stick with which to kill it. Snake lovers in the north tell the south to allow the snake to stay and bite them. But the southern people have decided chase away the snake or kill them. They have decided. May God help us. The reality is that what Sheo said is very, very deep. It is a very deep statement in an indirect ways. May God help us. 
You know, people were saying that uh, the solution is for both the North and South to have one mind and evict the snake from the entire compound so that both the North and South will be free from the incessant and future bites of the snake. And somebody had tapped and said, when and how will that happen? And they said, point of corrections has violence in its veins and can never do anything that will kill the snake rather than they will do anything to protect the snake, hence the threats to southerners. The reality is that to kill the snake will be hard. Because where, our, where were our leaders? Where were they? When the snake enters the parlor, when the snake enters the room, where were the leaders? Where were the southern leaders? What were they doing? May God help us. You know, people say snakes are wild animals, not domestic. They should be killed before they bite genuine. God's creation with their poisonous fang. Bible says break their heads. Hmm. I'm telling you, this thing is so deep. And it is exactly what is happening presently. It is exactly what is happening right now. But may God help us. You know, somebody responded, you know, on Twitter. People were saying that um, Senator Shewusani, now that the deceased bed evening, the country is known to be government facilitated. It is senators and House of Assemblies men like you who have the answers. You are holding both the yam and the knife. Raise motions in the House of Assembly and Senate and call the federal government to order and tell them precisely what they should do. It's no secret anymore. Let them relocate or repatriate the mercenaries they brought into the country and give the country peace. You heard the bandits saying to Sheikh Gumu that our government doesn't honor promises, so our government brought the heel being suffered on innocent Nigerians. The bandits have said it openly. They have said it openly that they and our government signed pacts. Why then are they making innocent people to suffer? Why? Why is it that the innocent people are the ones suffering from heat, not even the leaders anymore? This is a very deep word. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very, very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button. So that whenever we upload news, of course, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you. Bye.